Hello everybody, my name is Christina. Welcome to Good Body Club. Um, today I'll be taking you through uh, chest and shoulder opening a yoga sequence. Um, it's a nice sequence, so it's uh, available for all levels and throughout the practice I'll be giving you different variations for more strenuous uh, positions. So if you need to take um, those variations, please feel free. And if you need to take any more breaks during the practice, please go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to start in a seated position. So come to your mats, um, come to a cross-legged position and just relax your hands onto your knees. Keep your back straight, but your front nice and relaxed. And we're going to close your eyes and take three breaths to relax your body. So in through your nose, and out through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, relaxing your body, relaxing your shoulders. And one more time, in through your nose. And out through your mouth. So now we're going to come back to yoga breath. So inhales and exhales are going to happen through your nose. Um, so every time you exhale, just scan your body and see how it feels. Um, notice what you're thinking about or maybe you're not thinking about anything. Um, just, yeah, just notice, don't need to change anything. Just try to come back to your body and to your mind. So you're ready for the practice. If you know how to do ujjayi breathing, you can also adapt that. And with your next inhale, open your eyes. And we're going to start warming up your neck. So as you inhale, bring your chin to your right shoulder. As you exhale through your nose, bring your chin to your left shoulder. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. And exhale left. Come back into the middle. Inhale in the middle and then exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift your chin up. Stretch the front of your neck. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Keep your back straight. So you're not rounding your back as your chin goes down. You're stretching the back over your neck. And inhale, one last time, stretch your neck. Exhale, come back into the middle. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up, keeping your shoulders down. So try not to bring your shoulders too close to your ears. So bring them down. And as you exhale, come to side bend, keeping both of your seat bones on the ground. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, bend to the side. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, come to the side. Inhale, keep on moving. Exhale, down. One last time to each side. Inhale. Maybe take it a little bit further. Try to bring your elbow to the floor. And inhale. Exhale, down. Very good. Come back into the middle. So you might want to change the crossing of your legs. With the next inhale, we're going to stretch your arms up. Again, elongate your spine and then exhale, bring your hands down to the floor and then try to walk them as far as you can. Again, pushing your <coughs> seat bones into the ground. And then another exhale, bring your elbows down and try to relax your forehead on the floor if you can. Don't worry if you can't. If you're somewhere here as well, that's absolutely fine. As, as long as you feel the stretch in your hips and in your lower back, that's absolutely fine. Three breaths here. And 
As you inhale, lift your chest slightly, and then as you exhale, walk over your right knee, and then let's lower it down a little bit more, so you stretch the side of your body. Three, three breaths here. Inhale, walk your hands to the other side, and exhale, lower your chest and head down. And come back into the middle. Walk your hands towards your body, come to a seated position. And now we're gonna bring your hands behind your back, um, bring your um, fingertips to the floor. Inhale your chest up, pull your shoulders down, and then kind of lift your sternum up and lift your gaze and chin up. Three breaths here. So breathe, breathe into your chest, trying to broaden your chest and your shoulders with each and inhale. And release, come back into the middle. We're gonna take a twist. So your left hand will go to your right knee. Your right hand goes behind your back. And inhale in the middle, lift your chest up, straighten your back. And then as you exhale, take a twist a little bit further. Look over your shoulder, your breaths here. Inhale, come back into the middle. And as you exhale, let's twist to the other side. Nice and gentle. Each time you inhale, try to elongate your spine. Each time you exhale, try to take the twist a little bit further. Very good. And come back into the middle. We're gonna come into child's pose. Um, so bring your knees wide, toes together, and then sit your hips down to the floor. Relax your forehead on the ground, and we're gonna first bring your arms by the sides of your body. Just breathe into your belly. Relax your body, feel the stretch in your hips. Once your hips get used to this position, extend your arms, and then Bring your fingertips to the floor, lift your palms off the ground, and then try to bring your chest and your chin down to the floor. If that's a little bit too much for your neck or your uh, shoulders, you can relax your forehead on the ground as well. So each time you exhale, try to bring your chest a little bit closer to the ground. Feel that opening sensation in your chest. Three breaths. Very good, relax your hands. And come into puppy pose. So we're gonna bring your knees under your hips, untuck your toes, keep them flat on the ground. And we're gonna walk your hands as far as possible again, like in a child's pose. So place your fingertips on the ground. And then again, we're gonna try and bring your chest as close to the floor as possible, exaggerating that stretch a little bit more. So main thing is to keep your hips in line with your knees and extend your arms as far as you can. One last breath here. And we're gonna take it a little bit further. So place your elbows to the floor and then try to bend your elbows behind your head. If that's a little bit too much, just to come back to the first position and just hold it here. Three breaths. Gently relax. Come back into the middle. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Tuck your toes under and come back in, come, come up into the downward dog position. So just pedal your heels down. Try to move it with breaths. So exhale, pull, uh, put your heel down to the ground, inhale, lift it up, exhale, other side. So nice and gently relaxing the front of your body and stretching the back. 
And with the next inhale, lift both of your heels up. And as you exhale, try to bring both of your heels down to the floor. Don't worry if you can't touch the floor, that's absolutely fine. Also, if you need to keep your knees a little bit bent, that's absolutely fine. We're focusing on elongating the back. So another inhale, and as you exhale, let's try and push your chest towards your legs a little bit more. Again, stretching your shoulders, opening your chest. Three breaths here. Very good. We're going to walk your feet to your hands, nice and slowly, no sharp movements. So you can have your feet under your hips or you can keep your feet together. It's up to you. I'm going to keep it under, your, under my hips. So bend your knees and then circle your arms all the way up to standing. Bring your palms together, squeeze your glutes and we're going to go into baby back bend. So pull your arms back open your chest keeping your glutes squeezed so you're not putting too much pressure on your lower back and then big inhale at the top and as you exhale keep your back straight we're going to come into forward fold knees bend draw your belly in we're going to take a few breaths here just to relax your body and let's go again so bend your knees inhale your arms stretch your fingertips exhale here squeeze your glutes inhale and open your chest into baby back bend don't need to go too far shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back we're just trying to open your thoracic spine and stretch your shoulders exhale down so bend and extend your knees one at a time maybe move your shoulders do whatever your body needs to do and one more time, bend your knees, big inhale, reach, exhale, bring your shoulders down, settle in this pose, squeeze your glutes, inhale and open your chest a little bit more, gaze up if it feels good, and exhale down. Very good, we're going to step into plank position, so you can hold the plank either um, the full plank from your toes or bring your knees to the ground if it's a little bit too much. Make sure that your hands under your shoulders, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your glutes. And then from here, we're going to go into Chaturanga. So going really slowly, elbows tucked in. We're going to come to your elbow height and then untuck your toes and then come into up dog position. So bring your shoulders down, gaze up, squeeze your glutes like that from here back into downwards dog position good so again just reset <clears throat> pedal your feet pedal your heels nice one and bring your knees down to the floor we're going to come into a cat and cow position so um untuck your toes take in help pull your shoulders down and then open your chest up Make sure not to bend your lower back. So lower back stays more or less neutral in this position. We're trying to, again, open your thoracic spine. And exhale. Now, this time, tack your tailbone under. Now we're stretching this part of your body. Try not to bend your back, uh, upper back too much. Exhale, look at your belly. Draw your belly in. Inhale. Open your chest. Pull your shoulders down. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Nice one, come back into the middle. So um, we're gonna go into modified plank. So um, turn, your knee, turn your knee out and then come into the side. So hands stays under your shoulder, knee under your hip, and your body is one straight line. And then from here, if you wanna take it a little bit further, you can lift your leg up and then extend your arm like this, or just keep your leg on the ground, okay? So from here, we're gonna bring your elbow and your knee together as we exhale. So big inhale and exhale, knee to your elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. 
One more time, inhale. And exhale, knee to elbow. So extend one more time. Maybe bring your foot down just to reset. <sighs> inhale, exhale. And then lift it back up. And then bring your hand to your ankle. Flex your ankle and then extend your knee to open your chest up. And just hold it here for, for three breaths. If it feels a little bit too much for your neck, you can always look down. One more inhale. Exhale, pull a little bit more. And then inhale, extend. And exhale, bring it down. And we're gonna do it on the other side. So you can just turn to the other side. I'm gonna come facing this way. So first, turn your foot out. Come to the side. Make sure that you're in a nice tall position. So hand under your shoulder, squeeze your glutes. Push your hips forward a little bit. And then as you inhale, lift your leg up. We'll keep it on the ground, it's up to you. And extend your body. Inhale, and then exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time, inhale. And exhale. You might feel it in your glutes. I don't want to feel it in my glutes at the moment. <laughs> and then here, just take a little break if you need to bring your foot down. Take a breather. Get ready for all kind of like half bow position. So grab your ankle, flex your ankle here, and then try to extend your knee. And automatically it will open your chest and your shoulders. Three breaths here. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Creating that heat in your body. And as you inhale, extend again. Nice one. And exhale, come down. So from this position, we're gonna come up into up dog. So tuck your toes under, lift your hips up. And just readjust the position, make sure that your hands shoulder distance apart, feet can be hip distance apart. Turn your toes inwards a little bit so you feel the stretch at the back of your legs. And then from here, we're gonna go into three-legged dog. So inhale your right leg up, keep your hips and shoulders square for now. One more inhale here, exhale. And as you inhale, lift your hip, uh, turn your hips to the side and then bend that knee. So you're still staying square through your shoulders and opening your hips to the side. And then from here, we're gonna step your foot through in between your hands. And then exhale, bring your knee down, okay? So from here, hands um, goes above your knee. Inhale and then lift your chest up. So your shoulders can be in line with your hips, or if you wanna take it a little bit further, first you wanna make sure that you're squeezing your glutes, and then you can push into your hands and lift your chest even more. Three breaths here. One more inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Take your toe under, lift your back knee off the ground. Make sure that your knee is above your ankle. And we're gonna go into crescent lunge. So lift your arms up. Exhale, maybe go a little bit lower here. Bend your knee, at least have 90 degree in your knee. And then exhale and bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back and down, and then extend your elbows, push your knuckles down. Inhale your chest up a little bit more. And let's stay here for three breaths. Last exhale. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down to the floor. And come into downward dog position. So walk your feet out. We adjust the position so you're ready to do it all on the other side. 
Inhale your leg up, three-legged dog. This side might feel a little bit different, might not go as high. And then inhale, lift your, uh, sorry, turn your hips to the side and bend your knee. Exhale, square your shoulders so you are twisting from the middle of your body. And inhale, step your foot through. Exhale, knee down. So check the position of your knee, make sure that it's above your ankle, there's a bit less than 90 degrees in your knee. And then as you inhale, place your hands on uh, above your knee and then open your chest. You might feel stretching your hip flexor as well in this position. And again, see where you want to be. You might want to stay in line with your hips or you might want to extend your elbows a little bit more and lift your chest a bit more. Three breaths. One more inhale. And exhale, hands to the floor. Take it to under, lift your knee off the ground. Inhale, your arms into your crescent lunge. Exhale, going a little bit deeper into that lunge. And then bring your hands behind you back, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back and down. And we're gonna stay here for three breaths. With the next inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands down to the floor. And come into downward dog position. Nice one. So this time we're gonna go into warrior two. So we're gonna start the same three-legged dog. Inhale. And then turn your hips to the side. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, and then um, put your foot between your hands. So keep your knee off the ground, keep your back knee off the ground. And then as you inhale, come into crescent lunge. And then from here, you're gonna lower your heel down and then come into warrior two. I'm just gonna turn around. So I'm facing you guys. So come into warrior two. And then from here, we're gonna inhale in the middle and then exhale and go into reverse warrior. So see where you wanna be, make sure to keep that knee bent. And then pull your top shoulder down, open your chest a little bit more and hold it here for three breaths. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Exhale, when your hands to the ground, and then come back into the downward dog position. So I'm gonna change my position to face the other way. So I end up facing the camera. So walk your um, feet out, catch your breath. And we're gonna do everything on the other side. So inhale your leg all the way up. Turn your hips to the side, exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, step your foot through. Keep your knee off the ground. Inhale, your arms up. And then exhale, turn to the front. But adjust the position of your legs if you need to, feet. So inhale in the middle and then exhale, let's bend into a sun warrior or reverse warrior. Keep that leg straight, push into the outside of your foot and three breaths in and out. Inhale, come back into the middle. Exhale, hands down. And come into downwards dog position. And let's bring your knees down. Just take a quick rest in the child's pose so your hands can be in front of you. Over the side, just take a few breaths. If you need to take a longer rest, take a longer rest. Or if you're ready, extend your arms, come into tabletop position, 
and we've got our last warrior three a little bit of balance so take your toes under come into downwards dog position so we're gonna start again with three-legged dog so inhale your leg up and then exhale inhale open your hips to the side bend your knee and then step your foot through inhale your arms up so same as the first sequence Exhale, bring your hands behind your body, interlace your fingers, push your knuckles down, open your chest. And then from here, you want to shift your weight into your front leg. Kind of like drag your back leg a little bit closer to the front. And then from here, if this is enough for you, if you feel your leg working, then stay here. Just focus on opening your chest and pulling your shoulders down. Or if you want to take it a little bit further, lift your leg up. Bring it as parallel to the ground as possible. And then as you inhale, pull your knuckles even more and then open your chest and hold it here for three breaths. From here, we're gonna place our feet together. Exhale, come into forward fold just to reset. And then place your hands to the ground and walk back into downwards dog position. Ready to do it all on the left hand side. All right. Inhale, leg up. Exhale here. Inhale, turn your hips to the side. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, step your leg between your hands. Exhale here. Inhale. Bring your arms up, exhale, hands down. Interlace your fingers, open your chest. And as you exhale, shift your weight forward and either go into warrior three straight away or just touch down, keep your foot on the ground, focusing on opening your chest. Take another inhale, lift your chest a little bit more. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And exhale, foot down, relax into forward fold, maybe bend your knee a little bit more, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. And we're gonna step into uh, plank, so walk your feet, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, again, there's always an option to bring your knees down or stay on your toes. And then keeping elbows tucked in, we're going to slowly, for the count of five, go down. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. I'm just going to move a little bit to the center. So keep your hands under your shoulders, elbows tucked in. We're going to go into baby cobra. So squeeze your legs. Squeeze your glutes, push your hips down into the ground. And as you inhale, lightly push into your palms, mostly the movement happening from your back. And we're gonna open your chest, so inhale. Exhale down. Eye gaze down, so you're not putting too much pressure on your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping that squeeze in your glutes and your legs. Inhale. And exhale down. Very good. So place your hands on top of each other. Relax your head. Just take a few breaths here. Nice one. So we're going to take it a little bit further. So again, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Very important to squeeze everything before we start. And then you're going to push your, um, sorry, pull your knuckles down, pull your shoulders down, look down, and we're going to hold this for three breaths. So each time try to lift your chest off the ground a little bit more. Two more breaths. 
and exhale, relax. So place your hands under your forehead. Take a few breaths here. We've got one more chest opening movement. We're gonna go into bow pose. So for this one, relax your forehead on the floor. Bend both of your knees, grab your ankles. Try to keep your knees and your feet in line with your hips. And then we're gonna um, bend your ankles, flex your ankles. And then from this position, what you wanna do is you want to extend your legs and automatically your chest will go up. Just hold really tightly to, work to um, your ankles. And just hold it here. Don't worry if you can't go too high up. This is basically the maximum I can do. And the main thing is that you're squeezing your glutes to protect your lower back and your chest is opening and your shoulders are stretching. Three more breaths. And relax. Bend your knees. And then extend, take a few breaths here. Good job. So we've come into child's pose. Take a few breaths here. And then from here, come to a seated position. Extend your legs in front of you. We're gonna take a, a seated forward fold from here to make sure that you're sitting on your seat bones. Move the flesh and then elongate your spine. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale. And if you can, grab your feet. If you can, just grab anywhere where you can reach on your legs. Just main thing to keep your back as straight as possible. Pull your shoulders down. And just try to bring your belly as close to your thighs as possible. Keeping your toes facing up. Three breaths here. Pull yourself a little bit closer to your legs each time you exhale. And inhale, lift up. Bend your knees. Grab your thighs and then gently roll onto your spine. And then from here, we're gonna place your feet a little bit closer to your glutes. So make sure you can kind of like touch your heels with your fingertips. Keep your feet, your knees in line with your hips. And we're gonna squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone under and push your hips up. And then from here, interlace your fingers behind your back and then roll onto your shoulders, to your shoulder stance. And then squeeze your glutes and lift your hips a little bit higher. And we're gonna hold it here for three breaths. Feeling your back working, your, the back of your legs and your glutes. And then from here, shift your weight into your right leg. And then your left leg goes up. And then here you can just keep your knee bent or extend your leg. It's up to you. Three breaths. Exhale, bend, bring your foot down. And then shift your leg, uh, shift your weight into your other leg. Squeeze that glute up and then bring your leg all the way up. Again, don't worry if you need to keep your knee bent. That's absolutely fine. We're working on, you know, like that stability, your glutes, the back and breathe. It's very difficult to hold this position and talk. <laughs> and exhale. Relax your shoulders, come up to the top of your back and then relax. Bring your knees to your chest. Walk from side to side. We're going to take a few walks forward. Just to relax your lower back. One more time. And come to a happy baby position. So bring your knees to the side. Grab the insides of your soles. 
make sure to put um, to push your coccyx down to the ground so your whole spine is nice and stretch on the mat and just kind of like rock from side to side we're ready for kind of like a relaxation meditation part of the sequence I want to close your eyes if you want I want to extend your legs if you want to feel the extra stretch in your inner thighs and hamstrings and bring your soles together knees apart extend your arms big inhale and as you exhale grab your elbows relax into this butterfly pose now i want to close your eyes take a few deep breaths into your belly here One more inhale, big, big inhale. And as you exhale, just relax your legs. Bring your hands by the sides of your body, palms facing up. Take a few adjustments that you need to and just close your eyes. And if you've got time, maybe stay in Shavasana anywhere between five to 15 minutes, the more the better. Just kind of like observing um, your breath, observing your mind, just taking in all the benefits from the practice. You can pause the video now and just relax in this Shavasana pose. And when you're done, just bring your knees to your chest, keeping your eyes closed, just rock from side to side. And then spread your arms, keeping your palms up. And then bring your knees to one side, keeping both of your shoulders on the ground. A few breaths here. Inhale, lift your chest, uh, lift, lift your knees to your chest. And exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back into the middle. And from here, keeping your eyes closed, come to the side. Take a few breaths here, just get used to this position. And then from here, again, keeping your eyes closed gently, using your upper body strength, come to a seated position. Legs can be crossed or extended, whatever feels good for you. And we're just going to relax your wrist on your knees. Notice how your body feels a little bit different before than, than um, how you felt before the practice. A few more breaths here. And let's take a big inhale, circle your arms up, bring your palms together. Exhale, bring them to your heart center. Bow your head. Think your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you very much.